Hi guys, here we have a wonderful algebra problem. x squared minus x cubed equals 36, where we have to solve for the value of x. Let's bring the right hand side terms to the left hand side. So what do we get? x squared minus x cubed minus 36 is equal to 0. And then I'm going to split this to 36 x squared minus x cubed. This can be written as negative 9, negative 27 equals to 0. Now, again, x squared minus x cubed. 9 can be written as negative 3 squared. And this can be written as negative 3 cubed is equal to 0. Next, we have x squared and square terms, cube and cube terms. Let us combine them. So we have x square minus 3 square minus x cube minus 3 cube is equal to 0. Now here I'm going to write this again x square minus 3 square. Here I'm going to take out the negative sign common. So what am I left with? x cube plus 3 cube is equal to 0. And this is in the form of a square minus b square which is a plus b times a minus b and this part here is a cube plus b cube which is equal to a plus b times a square minus a b plus b square now let us substitute the values a here is x b is 3 i have x plus 3 times x minus 3 here and I have minus sign. Let's put it in the formula. A here is x, b is 3. So first we have a plus b. So I'm going to write x plus 3. x plus 3. Then times we have a square minus ab plus b square. So a square is x square minus ab is 3x plus b square. b is 3. So plus 9 and then I'm going to close the bracket which is equal to 0. Here I have x plus 3, here I have x plus 3, so I'm going to take it out common. x plus 3, then I'm left with x minus 3 here, divide by x plus 3, this whole equation you, you'll get x minus 3, then here you have minus of this whole equation, x squared minus 3x plus 9 close the brackets equals to 0. Now this is as it is x plus 3. Inside we're going to open the brackets x minus 3 minus x square plus 3x minus 9 is equal to 0. So now we have x plus 3 times then I'm going to rearrange the terms negative x square first then 3x plus x is 4x negative 9 negative 3 is negative 12 which is equal to 0. I have two solutions here all right the first one is x plus 3 x plus 3 is equal to 0 and here I have negative x square plus 4x minus 12 is equal to 0. Here I have x is equal to negative 3 that's one real solution and here what do I have negative x squared. So I'm going to divide both sides by negative 1. So what do you get? x squared negative 4x plus 12 is equal to 0. So let us solve using the quadratic formula for the values of x. x is equal to negative b plus or minus under the root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. So x is equal to b is what? Negative 4. Negative of negative 4 plus or minus under the root of negative 4 the whole squared minus 4 into a is 1 into c is 12 over 2 into 1. So x is equal to negative or negative 4 is positive 4 plus or minus under the root of 16 minus 4 times 12. 
48 over 2. So x is equal to 4 plus or minus under the root of negative 32 over 2. Then again, solving for this, x is equal to 4 plus or minus under the root of, I'm going to split that 16 times 2 times negative 1 over 2. Then I'll have x is equal to 4 plus or minus under the root of 16 is 4. And I have root 2 and negative 1 is i square. So square and root gets cancelled. So I'm left with i over 2. Now this 2 and this 2 can get cancelled, so I'm left with x is equal to 2 plus or minus 2 root 2i. So this is one solution. So we have three values of x. Alright, so I'm going to write that down. x1, x2, and x3. So what is the first value of x which we got here? The first value of x is negative 3. Alright, that's the first value of x. That's negative 3. Then the second value of x, 2, is this one, 2, plus 2 root 2 i. The next value is with the negative sign, 2 minus 2 root 2 i. So, as we got this as a real solution, x1 equals negative 3. These two are complex solutions. So let us check if that is right or not. So let's put it in the question back. What was our question? x squared minus x cubed is equal to 36, right? So let's put the value of negative 3 in place of that. Negative 3, the whole squared, minus negative 3, the whole cube is equal to 36. So what do we get? Negative, negative, positive. 3 squared is 9. Minus negative times negative is positive times negative is again negative. So I'll get negative 27 is equal to 36. So negative and negative here will make it positive. So 9 plus 27 is equal to 36. So yes, 9 plus 27 is 36 is equal to 36. So that's the value of x which satisfies the equation. So I hope you like this session. Thank you so much guys for joining. Bye-bye. Take care.